Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> we're back. How's it going, everyone? Oh, it's... We're back with Maverick. How's it going, Maverick? It's going good. Maverick was in the um, pool four video from last year. It's about kind of what we're doing, but in a different location. We're up here. Where are we today? Rainy River. Oh, about we day. are at Rainy River. We were blessed enough to uh, be able to use whose land? Brandon. Shout out to Brandon for letting us camp here. We're camping right on the river, which is pretty cool. So uh, yeah, they still got a little bit too much snow to be park where we wanted to park because I got I got stuck. Maverick had to come pull me out. But anyway, um, we're here now. We're just gonna load the boat up and we're gonna go out on the river. And from what we've been seeing, it looks like it's gonna be pretty good. From uh, From videos to asking people, talking about them. I've never been here myself. How many times have you been here? Once? Yeah, just once? once to the river. Once to the river. Yeah, we're, we're here. It's a Friday. What day is it? The 8th? 8th. It's a... April 8th. We're gonna we're gonna get out here and do some fishing. We got a little bit of wind coming across from Canada today. And then uh, it's gonna be sunny. It'll be up to like 36 degrees. And then tonight's gonna get down to like 12. And then tomorrow it's gonna get to like almost 50. So tomorrow's gonna be flat calm too. So it'll be really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Mail, right? Yes. Okay. Both buns. Both buns. Did you want to launch the ball? Bring one with. Pizza. <laughs> you want a clementine? A clement who? I oh, got some vitamin water propellers, Mountain Dew. You know? I yeah. hate when they turn in the mud. That's a lot of boats. Yeah. Holy. So many. Oh, this is, dude, this is Mav. What's up, Mav? No way, really? That's Mav. He's on the river right now. <laughs> Alrighty. This is what I'm starting with. I have a, this is a three quarter ounce jig with a shiner, emerald shiner off the back. Maybe try, maybe back us out that way just a tiny bit too. Mav, Mav's hung up on the motor. I'm up here fishing by myself. <clears throat> just letting it sink to the bottom and then I'm reeling it in slow all the way back to me. Just pull in and There, there's the bottom. Did you get her yet? What's it doing? It's beeping. What does that mean? Oh, it sees a fish. What are they doing? Are they just sitting there? I think we need to figure out tonight how to mount this thing to the side of the boat. Look at all these boats and trailers. Holy. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, today sucked. I don't know, I don't know if I got a bite. Maybe one. But I didn't hook them, so I... Let's see, we fished from about 11.30 to... What time is it now? Holy, it's almost 7 o'clock. 
So we fished from 11.30 until about probably 6.30. We tried all everything. We tried, <clears throat> first we started with jigs. Then we tried, I tried heavier jigs. And then I tried shallower jigs. And then we tried trolling three-way swivels. And then I tried um, pulling three-way harnesses with small jig with a, a emerald shiner like they all say to do up here um and then we tried well maverick tried an actual crawler heart like a crawler harness almost with a bottom bouncer and gosh i think i don't know yeah i mean I, I i tried pretty much everything i tried to stay right on the bottom uh i lost two one ounce jigs got snagged on a couple things i can't really tell i'm i'm still kind of getting used to the bottom of it and i can't i can't tell if i'm enough on the bottom or if I'm too on the bottom because keep getting snagged that tells me I'm too I'm too much on the bottom and if I'm too far off the bottom I can't feel the bottom because the current's pretty aggressive right now the other thing that I think is playing a big part water temp is still 32 degrees right now um, and there's still ice packed on the shore probably 20 20 yards out on both sides they're probably still kind of lazy and they're not as aggressive I saw I think four fish caught today and a sturgeon the sturgeon was somewhat small and I saw one walleye that was probably 22 23 inches and the other three were boat flippers they were really small so I don't know I'm gonna go make some calls and uh bring it all packed up and go make some dinner I suppose what <laughs> make some dinner you want burgers right thought out already all right maverick over here setting this tent up yeah brother what do you got going here <laughs> it's a weird tent it is there we go headquarters all righty maverick brought us some burgers to cook yeah. we'll cook these suckers up add some cheese and ketchup and maybe some yeah. avocado so Maverick brought Everglades heat. Have you ever try this? It smells good. We're gonna try it. We just brought some burgers from the store, which isn't it's fine. We got the first two done here. Burger. Nice. Stuff's pretty good, Everglades heat. Some of that. Oh. Yep. Thanks for cooking it. Everybody's got to be like, you know, it's supposed to get to 12 degrees. I know. <laughs> all righty. We're all set up camping. Currently 10:50. No more stuff in here. Heater in case I need it. Socks. Yeah, I'm drying those just for the night. Well, I mean, they're not really wet, just the bottom. Pants. Jacket. Go to sleep. It's supposed to get down to like 60 degrees tonight. Maverick's in a tent just outside, so. See how he does in the morning. We'll grab some rest and uh, charge it up some batteries and. <clears throat> get home. Guess we'll see y'all in the morning. Maverick. I think it's about 7 o'clock. 7.07. The sun is coming up and it's heating the air up and I am pumped. Last night got a little cold but just pop the heater on every once in a while and shut it back off. Sleeping bag kept me warm. I'm gonna get dressed. And go wake Maverick up. Maverick, wake up, fool.
Mushrooms, onion, bacon, eggs, salt, pepper, cheese. Ready? Uh. Ready. Phone, wallet, boogie, old son. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Pit vipers? Yeah, you know what those are? Yes. Sunglasses. <laughs> you fuck. I do that. Yeah, I remember when I was 12. Yeah. Maverick's got an ice setup for his Garmin Panoptics. The only graph he's got on his boat is a little, like, a what, I don't even know what is it? What kind of uh, maybe graph is it? Old little rants. I'll show you. It's just it's like this big round. Yeah. Just shows you your depth. <laughs> I was like, we gotta mount this, we gotta mount this live scope up. So we mounted it. I'll show you how I got it mounted. I got it mounted on this back trolling motor, and we're gonna we're gonna mount the trolling motor on the side and so we can turn it around and and look everywhere with the panoptics. Yep. So the battery was dead on the live scope, so we we rigged it up. I rigged it up so that the positive and negative are on to another battery. It still has an inline fuse in case it were to blow. Yeah, so it's got a car battery all day. So we should be fine there. And then it mounted right onto the trolling motor. So that's sweet. Try it and uh, I'm hoping the water temp warms up just a little bit. Even if it gets to like high 30s, it'd be perfect. Tonight's gonna be warm. So tomorrow morning we're gonna hit it really hard. It's early, it's so. Right now. Anywho, we're gonna get out there. All right, so as you can see here, I rigged her up. So she's working and I mounted it to this trolling motor. Jig down there right now, where is it? It's right there. <laughs> How many rods are you setting up? This is just one. I You've been working on one this whole time? What? <laughs> Frickin' finally. <laughs> We've been here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah brother. Get the last. Go yeah. back, buddy. I'm not even gonna be able to look at the live scope. I don't even know why I set it up. Unbelievable. Take it a minute, Mav. Yes. Right on the bottom. Pretty good. So for those of you that don't know, <clears throat> I'm talking to the camera. For those of you that don't know, you can fish Rainy River as soon as the ice is going out right now until the 14th of April. Then it closes for the walleye spawn. The reason there's so many fish here is because the walleye come up this river, up Rainy River from Lake Woods, to spawn and um, <clears throat> reproduce. That's why there's so many boats out here. There's literally boats everywhere. <clears throat> so, uh, you know the nice thing about doing this, and why a lot of people do it, is because you can pretty much catch them wherever. I mean, people have strategies, you know, you can pretty much catch walleye wherever you are. I mean, they keep moving constantly. Every spot you, you have caught them will have fish at some point in these few days. So what we're doing right now is we're just pulling jigs with minnows on them, right on the bottom. Put them right on the bottom and just bounce bottom down the current. And I've gotten three bites so far of lost two of them out one so it's working as of right now i have a little uh whistling jig on i'll show you <clears throat> gold whistling jig with a minnow tipped off the back of it that's how i caught my my one and had my other bites so far and then i rigged up his pan optics on this tow motor right on the side of the boat so i we can uh, kind of see what's down there or what's going on i'm kind of playing with that while i'm fishing but yeah there's boats everywhere and a lot of people out here have a good time. I don't, I don't know. No. A little tiny one. He's gonna take my minnow. There you go. 
Jig a minnow, man. You're jigging with two minnows. <laughs> you <laughs> f***er. This kid's done everything <laughs> but fish what we're supposed to fish today. <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> Just a teak. Check this out, folks. Look at this fish. Yes. Look at that. Awesome. What do you think? What's your guess? 20, he's 21 and a half. But he's heavy. He's big. That's a big fish. Look at the belly. Female. Win. 21 inch fish. How much you go? How much you think it's gonna weigh? Three. I hope this is over three. Should be like four. All right, ready? Yep. She's zeroed. Oh wait, hold on. There's scale. She's zeroed. Here we go. Four point six. Oh wow. You want me to get a picture of you? Yeah. There we go, man. Not very big. Get him up here. I'll just swing him in here. You just a little guy. Swing him. <coughs> oh, nice. Babs for each fish. <laughs> oh. Sitting here watching a little bit of pan optics. This little fish. Ah. Throw him back. There you go. We well, fish in. Why? Those are fish. Got There's two fish. fish there. That weekend actually was one day it got 200 degrees. What? Yeah, we still got around. A hundred degrees. Uh, There's a little one. Nice. I told you there was a fish there. You know if you want to get that. No. I think I can vote for him. That's a good one. Look at that happy face. Yeah, he's real happy. <laughs> Alright, back in the water. Got those waves, got some waves. Pull a sandwich out. You want a sandwich? Yeah. I'll smack it. I'll smack Let's it. Let's do it. Remember a slapper. Are you playing freaking clans? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Turn that shit <laughs> down. Oh my god. That was over here clanning. Ready for your sandwich, son? Yeah. made these ginormous sandwiches. It's got avocado, tomato, bacon, salami, turkey, cheese, greens. Some collard greens. I ran out of sliced cheese, so we're making our work with it. shredded. Oh my. I was decently happy with today. It went all right. I caught, a, I caught, I think six fish. Maverick caught one. My biggest was uh, 21 inches and it weighed 4.6 pounds. So it was pretty fat fish. Yeah, so let's go get Maverick, I suppose. Oh, oh. we're just gonna eat some leftovers and chips and salsa. Burritos and stuff. Yeah. That's gonna conclude this trip. Wasn't the best, but it was fun. We learned a lot. 
Yeah. I think it was I think it was worth it for my first trip. It was good. I wish the snow wasn't here, it'd make me a little happier. It was good. I know a lot of other people have been catching a lot of fish and we I don't know. At least we didn't not catch fish. Yeah, we're gonna take off and head on south. Back to the Duluth life and got a nice weekend. We're gonna see him again next week, this coming weekend. <laughs> Go chase around some gobblers. Mm -hmm. And that should be really fun. I'm pumped for that. You said you got an eye on a couple of them, huh? Mm-hmm. So stay tuned for that. Till then, I guess uh, if you guys like the video, like, subscribe, thumbs up button. Go check out some of the other videos. Maybe our Red Wing video if you're interested in this one. Check out our Red Wing video from last year. I'll leave it in the top because uh, that was a fun that was a fun video. If you're looking for walleye fishing, go check that out. But yeah, we'll see you this coming week for some uh, goblin chasing. This is Jarrett with Northern Tactics. See you bye.